We're now going to talk about translating ellipses. And the main thing to remember here is that all we need to do is find our new center, and then everything we learned before holds true. So we're looking at, if we have x minus h squared over a squared, plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1, then all we have to do is first find our center at hk, and we're ready to go. And so this becomes very similar to everything else. Here's our facts page. And you'll notice that this looks very similar. Almost everything is the same. They still do the little a squared is under the bigger one, where I just prefer to leave a squared here and just know that one of them is the bigger one. And we still get a c equation, so we're going to change the c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So it's the bigger one minus the smaller one. And that just moves our graph what we had before just moves somewhere else. And they're still tall or wide, vertical or horizontal, just as they were before. So everything's similar except starting by finding hk, which comes just like we'd expect. They just change the signs of the respective variable to get. So let's look at an example. Suppose we have x minus 3 squared over 25 plus y plus 2 squared over 16 equals 1. Well, that means h coming from here, h is 3, and k is negative 2. So our center is at 3, negative 2. So the first thing we do is we go over 3, down 2, and we put in an x. Then, let's let a squared equal 25. Fortunately, that's the bigger one. And let's do b squared equals 16. That means a is 5, and b is 4. Remember, these are physical lengths. That's why they don't ever go negative. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the other way. We're going to go up. 1, 2, 3, and that's, nope, 4, because it's a 16. And down, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then to get our foci, all we have to do, and those should be green, not purple. Let's make them green real quick. At 4 and... Four. Our c squared is the bigger one minus the smaller one, so it's equal to 25 minus 16, which is equal to 9, so c is 3, which means we just go over 3 and back 3, and then we can draw in our ellipse, and we have translated this ellipse from 0, 0 to 3 minus 2 and have kept the rest of it intact.